Welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we watch the eighth episode of Natoge. If you want to check out our reaction to the eighth episode of Natoge, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to leave us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! Yeah. So this time on the toge, it was the fallout from Rusian's account being hacked. And it, actually, that went a whole lot more realistically than I originally well, thought I it know! Would. I know, right? I thought it was going to be this long, comically drawn-out affair, but no, it, it stayed kind of true to life there. I was Impressed. actually surprised that it lasted only the one episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I, I thought that... Um, I thought that Akko would be more fooled than she was, uh, okay. and that it would it would end up turning into some big, this big old deal. Yeah, some big deal. Wait, I don't know. I, I'm halfway glad it didn't, but at the same time, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't. Hmm. I'm definitely I'm definitely more on the glad side. I like how they did this, actually. Yeah, I uh, I, I just think that it would really make Akko into a better real life person if she actually you know separated Rusion just a little bit more well yeah and that whole that whole that whole encounter with a different Rusion could have done that really well for her yeah I mean perhaps uh yeah I'm just kind of glad that it didn't go that route I think it would have put a little bit too much drama into the series, too much unnecessary drama into the series. Because in real life, you know, what what, ha what basically happened right afterwards would probably happen. You know, especially if you're in the same building already, yeah. just go and talk to the person in person and then go get your, you know, go change your password and whatnot and work to get your account back. Now, of course, they went a little bit above and beyond when it came <laughs> to <laughs> catching that guy, but... Damn. To making a whole website. With years worth of content. Oh, damn. That's impressive. Yeah, just, you know, just for one hacker. Damn. All because he made Akko cry. Dedication. The only thing that would have made that better is if they found where he was in real life <laughs> and went and beat him up. That that would always make every that would make everything better. That's why hackers use proxies so that they can live. Yes. <laughs> um. So, did you have anything else that you want to talk about about this episode? The monsters picking up items. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. That that was that would be really interesting to actually have implemented in a real game. To have the uh, have so, the monsters be able to pick up dropped items randomly. Yeah. So yeah. the guy who hacked the account basically was like, "Oh, a bad ring now." So yeah, well, yeah. Basically, it's a uh, it's probably an account locked. Yeah. Wedding item. ring. Right. Let me just throw it away because I can't sell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah so I'll just I'll just drop it on the floor, and a random monster picked it up. I mean, the the luck involved that some guy from uh, Nekohime. Yeah, Nekohime's oh, yeah. uh, or elite guard. <laughs> Nekohime's Fan SS. Club. Fan club. Yeah. Nekohime's SS. Mm. Uh, so one one of them actually cloud was the one picked it up. Yeah. Which is pretty managed cool. Managed to, yeah, managed to kill the monster that had it and realized that it was, yeah, yeah. that it had belonged to Rusion. That was a uh, really, really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really cool game mechanic. And I yeah. would uh, like to see a future uh, MMO uh, implement that somehow. Again, kind of. I wonder if that counts like. for like, dead characters too it should wouldn't because like i know that runescape had a thing where when a character dies a majority of the items that you had were left there on the ground right 
for random people to pick up. Oh, okay. Random people to pick up. Could you imagine a well, boss? Which is why it was so common for yeah. people to trail people into the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine a boss? Yeah. <laughs> all the people that have died in the last like hour. Yep. And you kill the boss, get all those drops. I'd imagine they'd have to implement some sort of. Well, I don't well, know, so what I would probably do on. is say, you know, a certain percentage of your stuff drops. Mm -hmm. A certain percentage of that is unusable. Right. And then you can get whatever percentage is left. Yeah, and then so probably like what ten percent or whatever. Yeah, and then kind of sort of maybe have it sorted out by like say item class or something. Mm -hmm. Sort of like uh, in Destiny, actually, where you have commons all the way up to exotics, and you can only have like a certain percentage or any of a certain uh, tier of item. Being yeah, dropped. that'd be interesting. Huh. Um, yeah, and then so the next episode. Oh shit! Oh my! <laughs> uh, uh, steamy up in here. Yeah, so the episode title is If We Stay If We Stay Over, Do You Think You'll Like Me Better? Normally you would. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. This should be I like her enough. Interesting. Already. Yeah, yeah. You know it's not gonna include any of that, right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well that about does it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm Rizzo. I'm a perv. Yes, you are. Oh, so am I. See you, See you next, next time. time.